is a pretty ridiculous combination, but the weather is a little more drizzly than we expected today, or should I just say full on rainy. But we either move today or we have to wait another several days before we can move because we have to call into the government to get approval. It usually takes 24 hours to 48 hours to get approval. And we have good wind right now, so if we get approval tomorrow, we might be able to sail instead of just motor. Yeah. Malo Pito, can I speak to Le Lua? The name of the boat is Curiosity. Before we move, we have to call customs and usually have to call the police, but he's going to call the police for us. And now we're approved to go tomorrow. Okay. This is all restrictions. Because of COVID. Because of COVID, yeah. So they implemented these new rules, mainly for sailboats. I think yachts, but there's no, there's no yachts, there's no yachts here, just a couple sailboats. Technically, we are a yacht, but I yeah. mean, yeah, when I you mean, say yacht, I think of like... Like Bill Gates or like somebody <laughs> famous's mega yacht. Yeah. Every single time we want to move, we have to call in. Bit of a thing, but that's all right. It doesn't necessarily put us on a schedule. It's just the weather isn't really going to change for the next several days, so in the rain we go. It's a boat. It's going to get wet. I'm Nikki, this is Jason, and this is Curiosity, our home and the driving force behind our thirst for exploration and discovery, literally and philosophically, because we believe curiosity is the key to unlocking life. It's what pushes us outside our comfort zone, softens our assumptions, and helps us embrace the great unknown. This week, that comes in the form of being humbled by our inexperience. Came back and the, the engine was off. I have no idea. Oh, dang it. Okay. You okay? Because, well, it's been over a year since we've raised the sails and actually sailed our boat. But it certainly hasn't been for a lack of wanting. For those of you new around here, I'll try to explain the whole debacle quickly. We bought Curiosity in 2016 without a lick of knowledge. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are we gonna, are we gonna accidental jive? I hope not. Got a crash course in sailing and set off into the horizon. After seven countries and 13,000 nautical miles, it was time for a trip to our homeland. So we left the boat safely strapped down here in the kingdom of Tonga. It took us three years to get here and only 24 hours on a series of planes to get back. It was trippy to say the least. We loaded up on desperately needed boat supplies, spent some quality time with family and friends, Happy New Year! <laughs> and we were on our way back to Curiosity, but then COVID hit. Quarantine and eventual border closures left us stranded in Fiji for seven months. By the time we finally made it back, our poor girl was in a sad state. We spent months pouring every ounce of elbow grease we could muster into getting her seaworthy again. Now, a year and four months later, we're raising the sails for what feels like the first time all over again. Heading right into that. <laughs> Perfect timing. We're just about to the little gnarly pass we have to go through. <laughs> Difficult. 
Sorry for the interruption, but we have some exciting news, and no, I'm not pregnant. But my sister is! Yeah, she is. Congratulations, Lauren and Gabe, and although we can't be there to welcome the new Flores burrito into this world, we can send some cold hard cash. So when I asked my sister what's the best way to send you money, she said Venmo. I went online, downloaded the app, tried to create an account, and boom, I hit this wall. Apparently, you can't sign up for Venmo from Tonga. Nope. But luckily, we just secured a sponsorship from Surfshark, and they came in and saved the day. You telling me we're sponsored by a surf and shark, bitchin'? No. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> Surfshark is an app and browser extension that allows us to change our IP address to unblock content that, well, we otherwise wouldn't have access to. So I flipped on Surfshark, logged into an IP address in the U.S., signed up, sent her the money, no problem. But it's also handy for so many things. For example, when we were in Ecuador, they have restrictions on YouTube and we couldn't do our patron live stream. Yeah, Ecuador won't let us do it. We hit the 15 second mark and bam, it cuts us off. That is until we turned on our VPN, then voila, problem solved. Yeah, we've gotten around the system. We also use Surfshark to access otherwise blocked libraries on Netflix. We've been able to watch all of our favorite shows. Plus, it encrypts our data to add an extra layer of protection to help keep our passwords and our personal information safe. And, and it also allows unlimited devices all on one account. So you can see why we like Surfshark. And right now, if you sign up using our code WINS, mm -hmm. you'll get 83% off plus three extra months for free. I'll put a link in the description below. Yep. So if you've never experienced the magical wonders of a VPN, go and check it out. It's risk-free because they do offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. All right, back to it. Going through this section where it goes from like 100 feet to 10 feet and there's bombies. It's a good fun in rainy, not very clear weather. But we've already been through here once. We have our track from last time, so I'm really not that Keep an eye out for reef up here. It gets pretty narrow. It's not crazy. There's a reef right there. And then it gets narrow. You can see a little reef right there as well. At least I can because I have polarized glasses on. It's close to high tide. There's a little bit of a current. Um, but generally, I think it should be a pretty easy pass. As long as we can see the reef. Here. Does that work? Okay, we're through it. Now the question is, can we sail? Uh, yes, I do believe that we can sail. Woohoo! Yay! First time. Yeah, first time. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> is that our heading? Yeah, pretty close, yeah. Okay, ready? Ready. Ready. Head to win. The birds fly so as the light leaves your eyes. Hold on to your dream. Oh, I know you want to scream. Gotta loop the snap shackle. I can't get that one open. Question is, are we good? Reef is in. Okay. Let's see if I did it right. <laughs> Get that snatch block. It's been too long. Hoping to break through the storm. Okay. Got it. It's just working out all the kinks. Exactly. That's why we're doing it. Summer breeze, some silk, 
Oh man. <laughs> First time in a very long time. I'm, it doesn't look great. It's not perfect. We're sailing. <laughs> Feels good, doesn't it? Feels good. Of course, right when you get the sails up, kill the engine, one of the locals comes by like 10 feet in front of you. <laughs> That's a little more than 10 feet. Well, I mean, you know, we're flying. I mean, we could be there any second. <laughs> Do you want to tell everybody how you feel? I feel like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Is that so? I'm trying to shake. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's how it feels to be sailing, folks. Yes. Makes me very happy. Chock full of energy. <laughs> Just not enough stamina to keep it all going. <laughs> Woo now we're picking up some speed. Six knots. Not too bad for a couple of rusty sailors. <laughs> Quite literally. Rusty. Stitches coming out of the sail. But still sail. And there goes the speed again. <laughs> That's good. Okay, thanks. No problemo. Well, that was fun while it lasted. coming down out there. Jeez. Easy now, we're going so fast. I don't want you behaving unsafely out there. <laughs> but we're sailing. We are. A whopping 3.7 knots. Yeah, but how much wind do we have? We only have 6.8. Well, there you go. No, no, I'm not complaining. I prefer the silence. So nice. And I'm not in a hurry. Hello. I said it last year. Oh, in 2019, I guess that was. Best selling ever. We are protected on all sides. The water is so calm. Light winds. No seas. No chop. Just beautiful. My favorite. I could <laughs> sail. If it was like this, I could sail around the world a thousand times. <laughs> so calm. So calm. Ah, love so it. So simple. Such a magical sound. Feels like we're moving now. Well, we are. Yeah, that storm is bringing some wind. Like need to reef again, or like? Uh, oh no, we're still 15. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. 
Woohoo, seven knots of speed. Okay, bring this sail down. <laughs> Head to wind. Not too bad for an old bag. <laughs> Think this is too much rain for the camera? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll go steer the boat. explanation as to what the heck just happened because well it all got rather exciting fast and I just fast. I had stopped filming altogether yeah and I definitely stopped filming because well, <laughs> I was in the water yeah so we got ourselves secure and then we grabbed a beer and that was that yeah but the the <laughs> but the, I don't know what happened with the engine the engine because that's kind of where it all started yeah. why is that off I came back and the loud beep was on. I associate that beep with the engine being off because that is the same sound I hear when I power the engine down. So I thought, holy crap, I've just lost an engine. So I turned the key off to get the beeping noise to go away. I told no Jason, problem. yeah, hey, I lost an engine, just FYI, so I've only got one, limited maneuverability. So, He's uh, like, okay. Yeah, I'm up front watching the boat head perfectly towards the mooring like she always does. And the boat slowly veering away from the mooring ball because she only has one engine. The propeller makes the boat move slowly to starboard. The wind grabs the side of the boat and pushes it even further to starboard. So I'm running now all the way to the port side hull to grab the mooring ball. And the problem with this mooring ball is it doesn't have a lead. Most mooring balls have a long lead made out of line or rope because you should be able to pick it up, put it on your boat, sort everything out, and then drop it in the water. Well, this one doesn't have that. So I'm extended as full as I can go against 20 knots of wind. There was no slack to bring up the mooring ball. So that's why boat I hook. just yeah. had to let the boat hook go. So then of course I'm looking at it and I'm like, well, if we don't have a boat <laughs> hook that we definitely can't hook up to the mooring. So I'm like, I guess you're going for a swim. Mm -hmm. So then I got a man overboard and I'm Lee Shore and I've got a pearl farm directly behind yeah. me. So I'm in a little bit of a sticky situation there. And I'm in in the water holding up the, <laughs> the boat hook going what have we done this is this is a disaster oh my god it wasn't that bad it just took me a minute to stay clear of both of yeah. these things with my one engine and so i slowly made my way out came back around picked up my man overboard <laughs> grabbed the mooring no yeah. problem one engine it is possible it's, it's not a big deal it was just it all happened so freaking fast so and then once we tied up we thought well let's look around and we went and checked over the side the engine, the engine was still <laughs> running it's still spitting so it was just an alarm which i've never heard because we've never had any engine issues ever not while it's running we've had starter issues which is getting it started but that's it so i just have never experienced that before so i didn't realize that was actually an alarm telling me that there was something wrong we powered up both <laughs> engine called it a day it's time for a beer <laughs> That's all I can say. This day is over. This day is over. And then the next morning, one of my tasks was supposed to be servicing the engines, changing the... Well, you'll see. 
Look at all that black dust I have to clean up. Yikes. Well, I figured out what caused the engine to shut down. It's the um, alternator belt. It's completely shredded. I have no idea why. It was on my list of things to do, change the alternator belt today. Impeller, fuel filters, all that. Give a general inspection, check oil. It's just crazy. Wow, I've never seen this happen before. So the alternator belt is on, it's working fine. All seems to be well. It was just a very humbling experience. And we were already feeling like we were a little rusty, kind of getting back in the groove of things. And then there was that all just happened. We thought, wow. Yeah, like, what any, amateurs. <laughs> like any sport, you have to exercise, you have to practice. And that's, we're out of practice. Yeah. But like, fortunately, we're here in these islands and there's yeah. tons of places to sail that are protected. So we'll do that. Yeah, we're going to hop over to the next island chain, kind of stretch our sea legs, get back in the groove of things, and make sure we're prepared for when we actually, yeah. when something opens up and we can make a big passage. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for joining us on that adventure. <laughs> oh, geez, subscribe. Thank you, patrons, for being a part of it. and We'll see you all next week. All right. Bye. 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 Are you going old? Yeah. I can hear that music. I feel your That's his ringtone. <laughs> still sail. Say that three times fast. Still sail, still sail, still sail. Nope, nope. I barely got it out the first time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't even have my shirt on. God. <laughs> Against 20 knots of wind with a shore right behind you and a bunch of mooring balls and a little pearl farm. It's super and it, scary. And, it, and adjacent in the yeah. water with the, with the pole. <laughs> what a mess. It was a fail. Just didn't go great. <laughs> you vacated. <laughs> it's like, I'm out. <laughs> no. We have big news. Except for it's not that big. Sorry, but we've got exciting news. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, mate. No. And no, we're, we're not pregnant. Blimey. <laughs> we can send some hold, hold, hold hard cash. <laughs> okay, ready? That's my hair. I feel like it keeps that one piece. wanting to yeah, I'll jump just... back. Oh, maybe I can tuck him in the... I get so excited and then my hair gets excited too. It <laughs> just jumps right up. <laughs> I think we got it like 10 minutes ago. Well, let's just do one more just to be safe. That's what we say and then we do more and more and more. And congratulations, Lauren and Gabe. Yeah, congratulations, Lauren and Gabe. <laughs> Did you want more? No. Yes, no. <laughs> Don't want to do another one. And you keep messing with your hair. Because it, it does this and then it's like that. Does that look bad? No, just leave it. Okay, when it falls down, just leave it. Just leave it. Otherwise, you, you it looks... I know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Mind doing another one? Let's do another one. That sounds like fun. <laughs> Modern day torture. Yeah. Okay, here. I'm going to give you a blast. Oh. Here. Oh. Okay. This is very helpful. Okay. <sighs> Send some cold, hard cash. Oh, man. What happened? Oh, uh, you touched me and I thought maybe I did something wrong. Oh, oh. no! I just was moving. <sighs> oh, for Pete's sake. That burrito. What a burrito. My. No. <laughs> All right, back to it. I'm sure that something in there works, right? And I nailed the... <laughs> that was where, that's where that, that's the gold right there. Most Everything else is... Most important part. <laughs>